Greetings, all you chalky milk chuggers. It's Blueberry Bunny here with a cheap, easy, and fun tutorial on how to make these adorable milk-themed candles. If you don't already know, I'm obsessed with things that look like food, but aren't, like food-shaped candles. I'm not sure why, but I think they're super neat. So let's get started. So here's all the materials you're gonna need. Paraffin wax blocks, liquid dye, fragrance oil, wicks, tissue paper, scissors, red and white thread, funnel for liquid, double boiler for wax, a plastic spatula, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, a scale, plastic cups, and a digital thermometer. Now I'm going to be making three different versions of these candles, but you can just make the ones you like the most. Half of the fun is making your own scents, so mix and match to your heart's content. First, we're gonna do the easiest candle. It's a simple buttermilk candle. We're chopping up and melting about nine ounces of wax. Don't worry if it's a smidge off. And we're also gonna use one ounce of fragrance oil. First, we melt down the solid wax chunks in our double boiler. You only need about two inches of water in your pot when you put your stove on high. Once fully melted, use your digital thermometer to take the temperature. My goal is to have it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm gonna add my Cinnamon Toast Crunch fragrance. I picked it cause it's my favorite cereal and cereal isn't complete without his friend, Mr. Milk. <laughs> now we're gonna mix, 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 mix. Mix. Then you add a few drops of yellow. We're going for a slight tint of yellow, like fresh squeezed cow juice. I slowly added the four drops of yellow because it can get way too yellow too fast. And the only way to get rid of it is to start over. Now keep in mind, it's gonna look way more yellow than it actually is, but don't worry if it seems too dark, it'll lighten as the wax cools. I want my wick to stay in place, so I just took these two coffee stir sticks and wrapped them around the wick gently. You don't have to do this, but I just like to. Then you're gonna place your funnel gently into the bottle so the wick doesn't get too disturbed and off center. And I pour my wax all the way until it reaches about one, one and a half inches from the top. When you're done pouring, gently take out the funnel and let the wax cool. Action. While this is cooling, we're gonna move on to our next bottle candle. Again, chop up your chunks of wax. Measure out nine ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance oil like we did before. The only difference is this time I'm using strawberry and cream fragrance oil. The label on my bottle rubbed off a little bit, but it still smells sweet like strawberry ice cream. Once that's measured out, Set it aside and melt down your wax. Once I reach 185 degrees, I pour in the oil and I mix, mix, mix. Then I put in three drops of my red dye. My advice is to use a little bit less if you're going for more pastel pink, like one to two drops. Be careful because the candle dye is very pigmented and it's very easy to turn your candles red instead of pink. So we mix, mix, mix and use our funnel to pour it into our bottle gently like before. Remember not to fill it up to the top, unless that's what you're going for. I'm not. Any excess again 
is going into my silicon mold so I can reuse it later. Because I don't like the waste, because I'm cheap. This is my favorite candle because chocolate milk is best. I used cookie dough scent for this because it's the most chocolatey smell I had on hand. And who doesn't like the smell of cookies? Am I right? Am I right, ladies? Y'all know the drill by now. Measure out your ingredients, milk, and mix. Again, that's nine ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance oil. Add the oil to the fully liquid wax once you've reached 185 degrees. Now finding the candle dye color is kind of tricky for this one. You're gonna have to make your own brown or you can get a brown candle dye. I didn't, so I made my own. <laughs> It's just a mix of all three primary colors, so you're just going to mix red, blue, and yellow together until you get the shade of brown that you like. Now all three candles are done. Once they are cooled down, you just trim the wick and that's it. Now you're basically done, but if you're extra like me, there's one more thing we have to do. Take some tissue paper and make a circle that's slightly larger than the opening of the bottles. It's about three or four inches. You want to make sure you have at least six of these mini circles. I use my hand to scrunch the tissue paper against the bottle. Then you choose a string, color is your choice, and wrap it around the lid. Tie it off and cut off the excess. All done! Now you have some adorable aesthetic milk bottle candles. I think they're so adorable and worth the work to make. Just be careful and make sure you trim your wick often because if the bottle gets too hot too fast, it's gonna crack. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, leave a comment on what the next theme should be. Don't forget to like and subscribe.